Hey guys, Adam here, hope you are well. So I did promise last week that I would make this video and today we're gonna talk about uh, what to wear or what I wear for weddings. And there's no right answer to this. There is a wrong answer, but we'll get onto that. This is pretty simple stuff. Some of you might be thinking this is obvious, but it is pretty important. As I've said many times on this channel before, weddings are a really personable industry and for brides and grooms they want to know that they're booking someone who's going to be professional and that they can put their trust in but also someone that they're going to be able to get on with and feel comfortable with on the wedding day because we're going to be there all day they want to feel comfortable with us so the way you dress and the way you present yourself the way you hold yourself on the day is key to that there's really only a couple of rules that i would follow that i would suggest obviously don't don't wear t-shirts or jumpers or polo shirts or anything like that try and avoid trainers unless maybe they're like black trainers that kind of blend but I generally avoid trainers you know just just dress smartly um, be presentable be smart but the thing is you want to be practical as well because you, you're going to be there all day you need to be comfortable Off, more often than not we're going to be getting ourselves into I'm traipsing through fields I'm in bushes I'm led on the floor a lot of the time you, you know getting shots so you've got to be practical you've got to be comfortable but you've got to be smart just use your common sense really on occasions where the bride or groom or both specifically ask you to wear I've, I've had it before where it's been a black tie wedding and they've asked me to wear a full suit or a, can you wear a black tie if they're asking then of course do it but other than that just wear something that you're going to feel comfortable with that is smart and representative of your company the the brand that you're trying to portray the one rule with this that i want to enforce on you guys the one tip i would offer if you're gonna take any advice is do not wear branded polo shirts or anything like a fleece or a polo or a jacket or anything with your logo on that looks branded and corporate and again i'm sorry if you do that no offense to anyone that does but it's just it just looks corporate, it just does. It's not got a place in a wedding. I mean, especially for what I do, I don't want any of the guests or the, the wedding party to know that I'm the videographer that I'm filming. I want to blend in. So wearing a branded logo fleece thing is the opposite of that. So there's just no place for it at a wedding. Don't do it. In, in terms of what's where, it's no different to any, any other aspects of being a videographer. It's just communication with your couple. I did one in Cyprus earlier this year and I just said, you don't mind me wearing shorts, dear, if it's going to be on the beach. And they said, yeah, cool, go for it. So I shot that wedding with a short sleeve shirt on, a pair of smart, like, chino shorts, and um, some, some like, beach loafer, boaty-type shoes. So it's just a bit of communication, always goes a long way, um, like with anything. So yeah, there's no right or wrong, really. There's no, there's loads of different ways to do this. But here's, this is what I wear. In terms of footwear, smart shoes, but you, I want to be comfy and I need to have shoes that are going to have a bit of grip on, I don't want to be slipping around. So I have, uh, and I alternate between these two, I've got a pair of brogues, brown brogues, they're just, you know, sensible shoes, got a bit of grip on them. And I also have a pair of black Chelsea boots, which have like pointy fronts and they look quite smart. They're suede, um, but they are a little bit slippy sometimes, but they look cool. So I like wearing my, my Chelsea boots. So socks wise, this is going against the grain a little bit, but always always wear some kind of funky socks i just i don't i don't own any pairs of black socks i know it goes against the whole smart professional thing but just just for socks i tend to go as funky and colorful as i can it's, it's always a funny talking point and especially if the groom's wearing funky socks because he's got special like wedding day socks um you can have a bit of banter about it and it's it's my thing i like to inject a bit of personality in that way so funky socks for me Pants wise I alternate again, I have a pair of navy, uh, these are navy like checkered pants, thin material, dead comfy and breathable that I wear in the summer and then generally towards the winter I wear a pair of black skinny jeans. So jeans for me are okay, they have to be skinny, I, I only wear black ones and skinny ones because they do look a little bit smarter, they go with the Chelsea boots as well so either these pants or a pair of black skinny jeans. When you're looking for pants be, be aware of bending over and squatting uh, make sure they've got plenty of pocket space you need pocket you, you'll want pocket space front and back to put you know i put my sony recorders and batteries and lens caps in pockets and obviously my phone and keys and stuff so you need plenty of pocket space um, but you also want to be aware of being able to bend over and squat in your pants so they need to be comfortable this is why i prefer generally wearing jeans because 
if I wear my skinny jeans, I know I'm gonna be able to stretch and lunge and bend over and not have to worry about ripping my pants because that's happened in the past. Tops wise, I always wear a shirt. In the summer, I'll wear a short sleeve, slightly more funky shirt that looks like this. I hope that transition worked. I've, I've been looking forward to doing that. Short sleeve for the summer, a bit less formal, but short sleeve for the summer and still smart enough to fit in. I've got a couple of these floral type shirts and for any destination weddings or anything, these work really well, but you know, I'm gonna blend in. And again, it's a bit funky, a bit of personality. It's just my personal preference. And then when it gets towards the winter, I'll move to like a, maybe a more long sleeve shirt, which looks like this. Um, long sleeve, this has got cuff length thingies. So I do, I do actually have a pair of camera cuff links which I got for Christmas, so I wear those. It's a bit more appropriate for winter or colder days or what, whatever. I don't wear a tie or anything. I generally don't bother wearing a tie unless the brand and groom have specifically asked. I maybe get once a year where they actually ask me to wear, you know, black tie. Now that it is getting towards winter, last few weddings I've been on, I've obviously had a jacket over this because it's been freezing. And in terms of coats, jackets, just, Whatever's practical. Um, it's not like you're gonna keep it on all day. You're not gonna be wearing it indoors. I don't wear coats in churches during a ceremony or anything like that, I'll take them off. So if you're just carrying a coat on for when you go outside, just a parka, or I have a just a padded coat, like, you know, whatever, just your normal jacket, as long as it's semi-smart and presentable. If you're wearing a suit jacket, fair enough, but I, for me, I find that like suit jackets are difficult to kind of be mobile in, because I wanna be able to just dart around whenever I need to, so. I don't really wear a suit jacket, but if, if I'm going outside, I want to be able to wear a coat. And if it is raining, I always have an umbrella in the car just in case I need it. And it's more for protecting the camera, because if it's chucking it down outside and I need to go out to get some shots, I'll cover the camera with the umbrella and I'll just get wet. That's the sacrifice we make. So the last little tip is always, always, always pack a spare pair of clothes and in my bag at any given time, I've got a spare shirt and a spare pair of pants. So I'm talking have an option for each. I learned this the hard way, so I'm hoping you won't have to, but on one wedding, I was heading to the church and I spilt my coffee down the front of my shirt in my car. And I, was ha I, wore, I had a light colored shirt on, so the coffee just was all down my front. I had a big coffee stain. And I had a bit of time before the ceremony was due to start. So I actually went into the church toilets and took my shirt off and was scrubbing it in the sink trying to get kind of get the worst of this day this coffee stain out dried it under the hand dryer put my shirt back on put my jacket on zipped it up and kind of covered it up and it was all right no one noticed i got through the ceremony but and then i had another wedding it was a summer wedding and they had quite a big night do there was a lot of party elements going on they had fireworks later on they had an led show so i stayed for a few hours to film the dancing stuff and I was jumping on and off this stage and I jumped down and I heard my pants split and they completely ripped and, I, <laughs> and sure enough when I looked at my pants there was a big split from the front zip all the way to the back huge split in my pants and I as an amateur I had white boxes on which stuck straight through the pants like a sore thumb so that's another tip never wear white boxes always wear black ones the wedding planner had to take me back up with gaffer tape and like six layers of gaffer tape and it looked ridiculous but it, we, you know we had a laugh out of it. In general dress smart, dress appropriate, be comfortable but dress the way you want to represent yourself because don't forget not only are you presenting yourself for the bride and groom but all the guests that are going to be there, other suppliers at the venue. For all you know there might be a dozen guests at the wedding that are engaged or getting engaged soon or have friends that are getting engaged so you've got to be presentable and at your best all the time because you never know who's watching so so yeah it is a big thing to think about but just as long as you're using your common sense and you're dressing practically and packing spare pairs of clothes and not wearing white boxes and maybe pack an umbrella things like that don't wear branded polo stuff you'll be all right i hope this video was helpful if you've got any wardrobe disasters i'd love to hear about them in the comments if you can top my splitting pants and spilling coffee stories let me know if you have any other questions and i will see you in the next video take care bye bye